In this video, I will show you how to download the Screencastify extension for Chrome and how to use it to capture, edit, and share your screencast with your students. The first thing you want to do is either navigate over to the Google Chrome web store or just search for Screencastify. We're going to go to the web store. And once we're at the web store, we want to search for Screencastify. We'll scroll down to the video video editor and then select screencastify screen video recorder from here it will tell ask you to add it to your chrome so click add to chrome allow the permissions by hitting add extension once it has downloaded you're going to see the remove from Chrome button to know that it has been downloaded as one of your extensions. And to check it, you will go up to the top, click on your puzzle piece, and then you will see your Screencastify screen video recorder right there. So that you can see it all the time, you want to hover over and click on this pin. And now your Screencastify extension has been added to the top of your screen. To use it, we're just going to click on it, sign in with Google, allow any permissions, and then agree to the terms. And you can allow it to send occasional emails if you want to. Just make sure that you hit that first button to agree to the terms and privacy policy. Click on next and then click on your um, title. So if you are a teacher, click teacher. If you're an administrator, click administrator. Check off which grade level you teach. If you teach multiple, you can check off multiple. And then you will click on finish. From here, you can enable your mic and webcam. Allow it. And you can enable tools so that you can annotate over the screen as you teach and allow. There will be a little four step tour that you can go through to show you around or you can just click on no thanks. Since I'm showing you, I'm going to click on no thanks. And then your recordings will show up here once you have anything done. So when I'm ready to use Screencastify, I will just navigate up to my extensions bar at the top and click on this little red arrow. In the free version, you have a five minute limit per video, but you can always upgrade for a small fee. The free version is usually enough because we don't want our videos to be too much longer than five minutes anyway. Here you have the option of choosing to record just your browser tab. You can record your entire desktop or you can use just the webcam. So it will just be your face. You will click here to turn your microphone on and off. And then you can select which microphone you want to use. And you are also able to embed your webcam right there on the page and choose which webcam you want to use. Once you have your settings the way you want them to be, you will go ahead and click record. Since I'm recording my desktop, I need to select the entire screen or choose which window I want to record. And then I'll hit share. Down at the bottom, it's going to give me this little notification saying that Screencastify is sharing my screen. I can either stop it from sharing or I just hide this notification. And then I can navigate as I would and just talk over my screens. So I can click through and show you the Chrome Web Store. I can click on my Google Slideshow and kind of click through and show you everything that I want to show you here down at the bottom. You will see that I have all my annotation tools. So I have my mouse pointer. So when I click on something, it's gonna highlight with the red circle. 
I have my clicks. So as I click now, I'm going to have my red circle. I can focus on things by bringing it in like this. So if I click on focus, I'm going to have my little spotlight showing exactly what I'm looking at on my screen. I can keep it as my classic mouse. And I can even put fireworks when I click on something. And you know your students will love that. If I don't want my annotation bar to show, I would just hit this little arrow and close it. And I can also pause my recordings by clicking on the pause. And now nothing that I'm doing or saying will be recording in Screencastify because I have paused it. When I'm ready to pick it up, if I scroll through, get to the part that I want to talk about now, and I'm ready to record again, I'm just going to click on my resume recording button and continue my conversation or my um, instruction. And that's pretty much it. When you're done, you've talked about everything you need to talk about, go ahead and hit your end recording button right here, or you can click on that arrow and click stop at the top. You can pause it also from here and you are, you can just trash it if you messed up completely. So once I hit stop, I have an option again to um, show me around, have a little tour or I can skip the tour. And if you look right here on this right side, you'll see that my video is automatically saved into my Google Drive. So I will have a folder within my Google Drive with all of my Screencastify videos. So if I wanna just trim the beginning or the end, I can click my little scissors down at the bottom. Or if I wanted to go into full editing mode, I can open my video in editor once it has saved completely to my Google Drive. So now it has completely uploaded. I can open it in editor. Go through my tour again, or just hit dismiss. And then from here, I'm able to go in and cut, crop, zoom in on specific parts, blur things out, add text box, and even delete it. So if I wanted to go and edit my video to where it will zoom in when I get to this section, I would click where I want to zoom in at, click on my zoom button. From here, I can go in and I can make my zoom in smaller or I can drag it out to make it bigger. If I want to just focus on the title on only, can put it right here and then when I play it I see that it will zoom in just on that particular part I can cut things as well so if I wanted to cut my video here I would just put my marker where I would like to cut it and then click on cut and then I'm able to crop out and trim small pieces within my video so I could just hover over and then drag it in or drag it out whichever way I need it to go and I can also add in text on my screen so if I click on the text button I can go here and type in my text And change my text font I can change the color I can make it bigger or smaller by just dragging on this little bar give it a feel color if I want it to I take the box from around it Then in my editing editing toolbar down here, I can make my text box 
last as long as I want it to on my video. And I can also drag it around to the particular place that I would like it to be. So you can kind of play around with these videos, make them as creative as you want them to be. And when you're all done with it, you would just hit on export. And you can either export it to an MP4 that downloads to your computer or export it to Screencastify that will be stored on your Google Drive. You have to give that video a title. And then click Save. It's going to create a link that you can just copy from here and share out to your students in your Google Classroom or your Canvas course or whatever you're using to send your videos out to your students. And you will also be able to navigate over to Google Drive. And you see automatically I have a Screencastify folder that it will create once I put that extension on. I can open it and that's my video right here. So I am able to right click on it, share it, um, change the permissions on it. So I can change it from restriction, restricted to anyone with the link or anyone in EBR parish schools. If you are using your EBR account, I can get the link, copy it, share it, and do whatever I want to do with my video and that's pretty much it for your screencastify videos